today, the Mario Savio Memorial Lecture and Young Activist Award will be presented upon this same ground in solidarity with the students of this university and the 99%. The most beautiful thing in the world is the freedom of speech. And those words are in me, they're sort of burned into my soul. Because for me, free speech was not a tactic, not something to win for political ends. To me, free speech, freedom of speech, is something that represents the very dignity of what a human being is. If you cannot speak, I mean, that's what marks us off. That's what marks us off from the stones and the stars. You can speak freely. It, it's almost impossible for me to describe. It's, it's really the thing that marks us is just below the angels. I don't want to push this beyond where it should be pushed, but I feel it. When hope comes back, he will not come from a presidential palace bought and paid for like a city bank stock option villa. He will not forget to put on his walking shoes and join the picket lines in New York, the bread lines in Baltimore, and shake the callous hands of everyone walking by. When hope comes back, he might be named Barack, but he will not be named Obama. <laughs> <laughs> when hope comes back, because he's coming back, he will be a Black Panther baby who speaks Spanglish, cooks Korean tacos, and does 180 sun salutations to the sun track of Zion Eye. Hope is hella big. with the wisdom of Buddha and Mac Dre. <laughs> really, he is my teacher, and I think he knows it by now, and we're both okay with that. When hope comes back, he will actually be a she, because hey. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. <laughs> but hey, that's who actually gets shit done in the first place. <laughs> she will be a librarian by day, a DJ by night, an Occupy activist in between. She will be, she will be thick hair and thick hips, and if you try to touch either one, she'll give you a thick hand to the face. <laughs> When hope comes back, she will show us to burn down the banks in our hearts and learn to love without lust or profit or restraining orders. When hope comes back, she will be an Oakland Police Department cop. Then NYPD. Then UCPD. Refusing to follow orders. Yeah. 